Wit, here are his money picks. Night Train Lane is going to be a big part of it. Tip Drill, you heard that. He's got four defenders in his secondary tip drill. That will be a huge part of his defense. Deion Sanders needs to play well, blitzing off the edge. And then Chad Johnson, Randy Moss, this is a combination we've seen throughout this tournament. Donovan McNabb, this is an X-factor as well. He gets the ball out very quick from the quarterback position and has a lot of mobility to stretch defenses as a extra threat in the offense. Well, you know who gets the ball out pretty quickly himself is Monsta. This guy, a gunslinger specialist. Both quarterbacks in today's game will be featured in that gunslinger. Monsta is a gentleman. He is a, a competitor that I believe has an opportunity to win this entire tournament, and it all starts with that high-point offense. It's one of the most difficult offenses to defend. He's got dots. He's got reads all over the field. Good stuff coming up in this one. You've got Monsta. You've got Joke. Here are his money picks. And just like you saw from Joke, you see a Night Train Lane. You see a Deion Sanders. Surprise, surprise. But it starts with his ability to get the ball to guys like Johnson and Randy Moss. Up-tempo style offense. A couple guys also not on here. You see Brett Favre. Really want to call out his halfback uh, with Darius Jackson. Uh, this is a guy that's going to play a pivotal role in the run game as well. Uh, he wants to be able to run the ball from a gun-tight set and get him the ball and not fumble and all in this game. Turning the ball over, always something that could happen to Monster with that high-powered offense. What are the keys to this game, in your opinion? Noble joke. Stop the high point. Easier said than done. Everyone says they have the defense for it. A lot of times you see them come in, and they don't. You have to make a quick read. It's a snap-style throw offense. If you make the wrong read at that initial snap, you can't really defend it. Gibbs, Monsta is the you know, highest seed in this matchup here. Is he getting the respect he deserves? What can he do? For Monsta, it's all about his dots. I want to see him stand up and start screaming across the stage here. Dots, dots, dots. It's I actually dot, misspelled. Dot. I think it's actually D A W T S. <laughs> D is how he spells it. There you go. But nothing gets the community more excited when he just stands up and throws a blind throw down the sideline and screams dot. And that's what we play the game for. But it's an up tempo offense. These are reads he makes on a consistent basis. And I really like him as a favorite in this entire tournament, not just in this game, but the entire tournament. Excited is one way to put it. Some might say angry. Who knows what's going to happen in this one, but the kickoff is underway. It's going to be Joke in the Vikings uniform, sending it on down to Monster, who's going to bring it out of the end zone and decide to lay down, pick it up at the 18-yard line. He was in the 49ers Club Series. He won the whole thing. You were out there. Is that kind of the first time you saw him on the map? I know he was at the initial event, but not this confident version of Monsta. I mean, a lot more confident at this point in the stage uh, in the tournament is Monsta. And a lot of it has to do with his ability to run the ball pretty well at the start of a game. Big time hit stick. Reggie Bush hanging on to the rock. Not something he often does in Madden. What good defense to start that one. Trying to sneak out with a run from Monsta. And here you go. You can see right out the gate, you can see Reggie Bush, he splits him out wide as a receiver. And then he's got Darius Jackson in the backfield from that look. He likes to do that because Reggie Bush, while he's a great running back in this game, we're playing Madden to being salary cap, he can also <laughs> split him wide as a receiver, and he's still very effective in his passing offense. Juan on the right, Joke on the left, Niners on offense. That is Monsta. Sneaks it out to Williams, four-yard completion. He's going to go hurry up here on third and seven. Yeah, for, for Monster, he's got to avoid any type of tip passes with Joke with four secondary players with tip drill. Joke thinking he has a big advantage by adding those players to his lineup. The pressure screams in. Defender misses it. The ball is on the ground, and Joke cannot pick it up. You already hear a little man in the crowd rooting for Joke in this one, fourth and 12. And Monster quick hikes off it, and the edge is in screaming. Let's go back and look at that fumble, Gibbs. A quick pressure oh. off the edge, and you're gonna see it right here. Screams through the middle of the field. Darius Jackson, Nyby will pick it up, and luckily he falls on it, but turns it over anyways on a big fourth and 12. Early stop for Joke in this one. Maybe he figured he was playing with house money after recovering the fumble. Tried to go get him quick, but Joke was ready for it. And now Joke is taking over on the 15-yard line with Donovan McNabb under center, and Tony Dorsett, who we saw a little bit of during group stage. And run the ball there, especially off a turnover there. If you're joking, now got the ball inside at the 12 yard line. You got a, a free gift to start this one off a quick turnover. Now you're in business. Come on, 
has the most rushing touchdowns with seven. So let's see if he can cash one in here down inside the red zone. McNabb to the flat in a swat instead. Almost picked. Yeah, and we've been seeing a few reads in this one. You can see right here, a quick flat defender. He'll shoot out there. He doesn't break in front of it. Gets his paw on it. Rather than go for the interception, gets the swat, and that's a missed opportunity for Monts' defense. The hard flat was there. Third and six coming up here. He's at the 12-yard line. Three and zero in his group stage was Joke looking good early on defense. Can he cash in with McNabb? But the pressure hauls him to the turf. You know, it, it, here's something I, I, I want to question immediately at the start of this game. You heard Joke talk to Drea uh, and say, "Oh, it's not about the crew versus crew. It's not about uh, me playing monster." But the very first emotional moment of this game, you see Joke just absolutely lose it. And when we've seen him at his worst playing on the competitive stage, it's when he doesn't control his emotions. And what he did so well in that previous group stage was control those emotions. So what I want to see, can he control that here in the uh, uh, opening moments of this game, the rest of the game as well? Monster takes back over. He failed on his first drive. Really, a couple seconds into this game, and Reggie Bush is trying to break it off the left side. Yeah, Night Train Lane in the deep secondary position right there. That's a good spot to try and take down a ball carrier open field. But you'll see this a lot from Monster. He comes out, he wants to get, start and control the ground game a little bit, see if he can get a couple cheapos in. He said he saw this formation in the first game of the day with Volt having some success against an EMB player in beast mode. Matt, Reggie Bush grabbing some more. So you saw, uh, if you're just tuning in, in the first game of the day, beast mode, Mac lost to Volterax, who ran the ball pretty heavily with a quick style back like a Reggie Bush. And Chris Johnson, Monster watched that game and says, I'm going to test Joke. They have the same players. They run a similar defense. What can I do? And it's working for him early, better than the pass he did on his opener. Nothing there. Now that's where you get a good defensive stop right there on first down. You'll see this usually will force Joke, uh, usually force Monsta into a passing offense. You see he comes out here, watch for the snap throw. A little play action fake. He wants to hit a push underneath potential. Quick flat to Williams. Gets out far. Second completion. It's going to be a hurry up here on third and three. Third and three. Once again, you watch for these quick inside patterns. Little inside run now. There's Darius. Don't call him Bo Jackson. He gets the first down. And the tempo is mounting here for Monster. And, and you can feel the tension in the room after every snap just between these two players as they look at each other after every single snap. It, it, is, it is just, you could cut it with, with a knife in this, the, the tension here. Sends the receiver out to the right. Seven seconds underneath Jackson. Short game, not a lot there. Yeah, dumping the ball out in the short flat to Darius Jackson. Every time you give him the ball, number 34 right there, Jackson on your screen, you always worry about the fumble. Just a 63 overall bronze. Down the sideline, what precision, but he did not get his feet in and Monster's not happy. Not happy, and Little Man in the crowd still cheering on Joke, the number one supporter. Thundersticks going crazy on that play. Little Man brought his own Thundersticks to the party today. He's making a lot of noise in the front row. We'll see if it motivates Joke on third and 11. It does not, as Johnson does keep his feet in this time. Good little out pattern right there against that man to man defense, motioned it out. Outbreaking routes against man-to-man -man usually give you a lot of success in those situations. So I like the way Monster's not just staying in that gun tight. Interesting here. Joke, the best rush defense. Only giving up 38 yards. Well, I mean, not only does he have a great run defense, I mean, he wins 90% of the time that he's played, which that's where we asked the question previously heading into this tournament. Is he the best player here that not everyone's giving him respect in this tournament? And Bush can't haul it down, Gibbs. What's more obnoxious to go against? When you've got somebody running hurry up against you, or when you've got somebody that brings a friend who brings thunder sticks? <laughs> thunder sticks.
<laughs> the Thunder Sticks, I think. Kind of a good band name. <laughs> they get you going. Thunder, Thunder Sticks Thunder are a good band sticks. <laughs> Past defense is where Joke has struggled, but he's looking good early. The blitz pressure is getting in, but the high points from Monson just flat out too tough. Yeah, you can see right there once again, that's where you get that snap throw into Moss. That's where this could be a big time problem for Joke's defense. Four and a half to go, second quarter. Vikings can't stop the run here off the left edge. Yeah, another good run right there by Bush off that edge. You can see while Joke does like to pass the ball quite a bit, he will do a great job distributing the ball to his halfbacks as well. Far. One more time to Reggie Bush up the middle, trying to get those tough yards in the red zone. Yeah, and he's really working the clock right here. Gun bunch week here. Chew clock is on, Gibbs. Yeah, I mean, listen, he is doing a great job on this drive, controlling not only the tempo of this game, but he's also doing a good job of controlling the clock as the clock continues to kick away here until the two-minute warning. Jackson trying to get off the right side here, loses a couple, and he's going to have to settle on fourth and five. And there you go, that's how you tie the game right there. Good drive by Monson. Joke's gotta feel good about that. He did everything he needed to do on that drive to contain those high points. He did get away uh, with that sideline pattern as well. That You saw that Monson didn't get that conversion on that deep sideline uh, pop pass. So good defensive possession by Joke that would hold him only to a field goal. Deion Sanders trying to bring it out of the end zone. Only makes it out to the 23 here. Joke cycling through his plays. Gun tight flex, it's gonna be. EMB 0-1 on the day with Beast Mode Mac. Three, three. Three minutes to go, second quarter. All these safeties up in the box right here. Take a look at that. Watch for space in the middle of the field. McNabb going to the corner. Jerry Rice, can he possess it? No. And McNabb's 0 for 3. Is that a surprise? Right now, McNabb 0 for 3 in this one. Right now, Joke, his passing offense really letting him down in this one. But listen, that was a good read. I like the, the aggressive nature going downfield right there. Doesn't get the possession catch in. But that's a tough break right there for Joke. No passing yards, four rushing yards, got the early turnover. And McNabb rolling left from that pressure, goes downfield into coverage, and Randy Moss bails him out for the first completion of the day. And you could see that right there. He chucks the ball downfield, pressure coming in on his quarterback. He goes to the one-on-one -on -one read right there. That is literally why you get a Randy Moss on your team if you get into situations like that. Had the defender in coverage as a play you're hoping to make with the swat, but Moss strong on that catch said, you know what, he's got to put the team on his back as nobody had converted. McNabb, two in the backfield behind him, hands off to Dorsett, can't break through the line. Yeah, and right now, now you're going to see here from Joke, he's going to try and play a little bit of a, a, a clock game here now, run this clock all the way down the two to warning, but now Monster, good recognition, he's going to use his timeouts to prevent that because he knows that there's an opportunity for him to get the ball back for a uh, last drive here in this first half. Coming into this one, Gibbs, Monster, the highest seed, we said, but America in the polls were going with Joke. Was that a surprise to you? No, I mean, Joke, Joke is, you know, he won 90% of his games for a reason, as you can see the distribution from both players right here. Can't escape for McNabb. Third and eight, down in, and approaching the red zone. Almost a two-minute warning. Monster with no timeout, so a good opportunity for Joke. Not just to get a first down, but to really melt the clock away here. He's got the lead, and Joke gets ball at half. 
underneath the door set, tries to turn it upfield, gets wrestled down short, and now he's got a tough decision to make. Yeah, good defense right there from Monsta. He does a really great job of protecting the sidelines. Probably the best defense we've seen throughout the tournament in protecting the sidelines in terms of short flats, the deep sideline corners. Where you really want to focus on attacking him is the deep middle uh, and then the short middle of the field really test his user. And, and right now, we got to see that from Joke, but you get the field goal here, you go up one field goal, you still got to feel good the way you've been playing defense and uh, Monta's opening possessions. Was that thinking that you're getting the ball at half? Was that maybe your offense isn't clicking as as much as as much as you like think is that your opponent what goes into that decision there for joe you're you're taking the you're taking the field goal there because of the way you're playing defense and the way the flow of this game is you know if this was a shootout you you might go for it there you might feel more confident but because it's a tight ball game you feel okay okay i'll i'll, I'll take the 3 let's go play some defense and look how uncomfortable monster is he continually staying in this under center run formation run the ball nine times already with reggie bush well he just had what i had for breakfast two pancakes off the left side but nothing <laughs> working there for him you put syrup on him and, he, and you made him wrong he's got a minute 40 no timeouts and he's running the ball that it, it is plenty of time in a bad game but no you figure with this this powerful offense you might start to open it up Favre takes the snap hands off to the right side jackson very nice it's a nice cut inside there. Let's keep an eye on this clock here. I'd like to see him run it down a little bit before he snaps the ball. Third and four, and it goes quick. Play action. Oh, and he throws the pick directly to him. No, no, no. Ball no, no, no. That was a late uh -uh. change for Joke. Unbelievable user play right there. He sat underneath it. That is one of the best user plays. Let's remember that play as a top play from this weekend because that was absolute lurk right there. Stays underneath the drag, gets the pick right there. Huge momentum turner. And now he's going to the corner and Paul Krause misses the play. Some emotion now coming from Monster here. Joke doing a great job of Hardy seen his emotions in this one. As you can see, he sits back in his chair here, adjusts that headset, wipes his hands on his knees, all the sweat off there. Door set up the middle, gets carried down to the three yard line. Now, if you're Joke, there's no timeouts. You got 26 seconds to waste here. You're not snapping this ball until there's one second left on the play clock. They were sold out of Vuvuzela's at the Burbank Party Store, but we got Thundersticks. All of them. 47 seconds. He's going to let it tick. Monster cannot stop the clock. Choke three point lead. Inside the five. Gets the ball at half. Everything is coming up noble here. Here you go. Yeah, don't snap the ball here. Here you go. Dorset walks in easy for Joke. Still in a very manageable situation now for Monster. 32 seconds to go. Your objective now on this this drive, move the ball to field goal range and try and get out with a field goal here to make it a one possession game. Needs a big one, that Lonnie Ballantyne bronze, 63. That's a new item for Joe for the user area. Let's look back at that turnover. Take a look at look this at user him. right here. He sits underneath the drag and he gets the pick. That is one of the most difficult things to do in the game of Madden, to stay underneath short drag patterns and get interception. I cannot explain the level of skill that that takes, the user ability to not only recognize that to get in position, but to sit there and wait and get the pick. Very difficult to stand there. Williams grabs it down the seam. Far six for nine, but that one interception is so crucial. And that's the one thing Monster can't afford to do if he wants to continue to add to his $28,000 of winnings this year. Is he going deep down the seam? Far sideline instead to Moss, oh who God. makes the play and goes That's all the way. That's an FFB done right there. I got dots. He's got dots, Gibbs. He's got Randy Moss. That is a one on one diaper dandy dime down that sideline. Moss just Kobe all over the place. Take a look at this. User defender, Harrison Smith comes over. I'm going to catch you on your face, and then I'm going to truck all the way into the end zone. You can see the frustration right there because that, is, that does not happen often. I, that, that does just not happen 
at a very high percentage. But when it does happen, it happens with Randy Moss. And with six that seconds hurts. left, if that, you you were looking for a field goal. I wanted a Fig Newton. That's all I wanted. I didn't want. <laughs> he gets he gets everything he needed there. Can you do it? Joke, do it now though. Take this guy to the movies. He's got dots. He's got Reese's. What? A play, the swerve will be unsuccessful. The interception for Night Train Lane. And just at the end of the half, this game started to heat oh, up. Joke does have the 13, uh, 10 lead over Monsta after some big plays, but Monsta very fortunate right there. It gives, how will this one go in the second half based on that? Hey, listen, I mean, the way that half really ended there, I mean, that's going to tighten the ball game like a, a lot in the second half. That was a that was a big, 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 big touchdown right there. Uh, Joke has the momentum going right now, but you've seen some things go against him. But he's doing a phenomenal job, staying composed, staying locked in. If he can do that, I feel good about him in the second half. Even though I I really like the way Monsa's playing and how he has played coming in this tournament. Well, Joke wasn't laughing after that one, and a lot of the times you're not laughing after this one. Dave and Rico over there. Good. Thank you, gentlemen. Rico, what do you see out of Joke in the first half? Well, I think they did a good job, Gibson. For Oh, you, you meant the other joke. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Noble <I> just, joke. <laughs> you got to give Joke credit. He played very well in the first half, but that play at the end was such a big play for Monster for several reasons. Now he's only down a field goal going into it, and he might have Joke on tilt right now. And you know, when Joke's not 100% locked in, that's when he's susceptible to losses and not making his reads and not playing right. So we're going to have to see how he handles that going into the second half. Yeah, let's take a look at the highlights from the first half. We can see what exactly happened here. We see Monsta just getting pressured from the left side. Joe getting fired up again, Rico. Absolutely. You can see that pick sitting underneath there. No, no, no. <laughs> Little Dikembe for everybody. That's right. And there it is, capitalizing for Joke on the touchdown. And there it is, Rico, the play you talked about. Randy Moss just going over two defenders. Absolutely. The definition of getting Moss. Exactly. Not much you can really do about that. But, Rico, now that we are here at halftime of this game, we want to look a little bit bigger here. This is week three of the biggest Madden tournament of all time. Everybody who's here has been grinding for nine months to get here. Let's hear a little bit about what this is going to mean to them if they can take home the belt. Winning the Madden Championship would mean the world to me. I would, I would love to do that for my family and my friends and everyone that supports me. It would kind of be a justification for uh, all the years put in. Solidifying myself as one of the top players in the game would, would be uh, pretty great. It would mean everything. I'll probably have an emotional breakdown if that happens. I feel like I've been the best all year and I've made the deepest runs. And just finally having a belt to show that would mean everything to me. For every argument that people bring up about Madden, people listen to you because you're a champion. They can never take that away from you, no matter what happens the rest of your life, I'm a champion. Eventually, I want to win the most Madden tournaments ever. Just the money in general would be life-changing, really, and it would just cement me as one of the best, if not the best player. It would just be that respect from the people outside looking in, don't really know who I am. Just for them to see, you know, especially on Sunday when I raise that belt. It's not just about Winning the money is about winning like the the respect and this being known as the best player in Madden 17. Well, Rico, there you go. You heard Hollywood say it. It's not about the money. It's about respect. Absolutely. And you heard all these guys echo the same sentiment. They all want to be known as the best. They all want to be known as the greatest. All these guys, we saw Farles talk about it earlier on the big screen. They've made a ton of money playing Madden. <laughs> but to actually have that belt to know you won the biggest tournament ever in Madden history, it's unparalleled. That's right. That does not come around every day. Want to remind everybody who is at home, you can check out the best FIFA 17 players compete in the Ultimate Team Championship Series Finals live on May 19th and 20th. For more information, you can visit footchampions.com. We are finishing up our afternoon programming, but tonight we've got more Madden. You see it there, Rico. Match 5, Skimbo, Little Man, Spot Me, and Strafing Lab Partners playing against each other. Problem and Mo, Young Kiv and Hollywood. It just keeps getting better and better. For right now, we're going to go to Drea. She's on the field with Monsta. Absolutely, Dave. Well, Monsta, incredible grab and touchdown to close out the half. How do you build on that momentum in the second half? Uh, I'm going to bring out the offense next half. I'm going to be in my full tights. I'm going to dot them up. 
There you go, dot them up. Well, I know that Joke kind of tried to downplay the rivalry that your crew has against his crew, but I'm going to ask you straight out, how much more gratifying would it be to advance to the next round by beating Joke specifically? Mm, I don't want to speak on it. I'm just ready to lock in. Actions speak louder than words? Yes. All right, well, let's send it to Zach and Gibbs. Well, you heard it there. I mean, there's definitely something, but I respect that these guys are ready to go. This is the biggest one for both of them because it's – $10,000. If they both are denying it, you know there's something deep-seated there. But listen, they both played great in that first half. You saw Monster get that big touchdown at the end of the half. You got to agree with what Rico's saying there, how important that is, because it makes it a field goal game. And that is crucial to the success of Monster in the second half. And Rico told me when I come over here, don't throw any shade, but I figure with how much he sweats, it might, might be a nice break from the bright lights. Oh, <laughs> Farls, you're the one throwing the shade, man. Let's get back wow. to the half oh. here. Oh. Third quarter. A lot of shade today. Joke against Monster. Joke got the ball. Where do you come up with them? Do you, do you practice at night? No. <laughs> After the half, he goes down to the corner. Can he keep his feet in? This time, he does indeed. If you remember, earlier in that first half, we saw the same play from Joke. He wasn't able to get his feet in bounds, so I like the confidence going back to that same play. Moss on that play. Good read. Stop Monster early on his first drive, turned it into some points. One more time. Can he hit it to Johnson? He does not get the feed in there. He's living on the sidelines with those pos uh, possession style catches. Yeah, I like I like the confidence in it because he's facing a cover two invert. So the deep safeties, they will converge over the middle of the field a little bit more than your standard cover two, which that means the deep, deep sideline is going to be open. And that's where you see Joke recognizing that and going for it. Good play recognition. McNabb with the high snap, grabs it, pulls it down, gives it to Dorsett, but he can't get more than a yard. You know, you're about a 57-yard field goal right now for Joke. He's got a 65 overall Jordan Gay kicker, so he really needs to, to get about 10 more yards to feel great about kicking a field goal. That would give him a first, so not a lot of wiggle run here for field goal range. Johnson out to the right. See the blue underneath him means he is selected. And that will indeed put him in motion. McNabb screaming off the edge, throws it away. And now, is he in field goal range? It does not look like he can kick. No, this is where you've got to go for it here. You're, you're in no man's land. You can't punt. Uh, you, you can't go for the field goal. You're forced to go for this here. Uh, so now, one of the bigger moments of this game thus far for Joke and his offense. Fourth and nine. It's time to pocket. Pressure's going to come off that right edge. Screaming in, it does not get picked up, but the seam throw is open to Rice. Way to hang in the pocket if you're joke. Pressure barreling down right here. So here comes the pressure. He finds a seam receiver open in the middle of the field. Beautiful composure in the pocket for joke on a big fourth nine. And it's been the day of the GOAT, and Jerry Rice is the GOAT this time. Here we go. A little motion inside right here, a little corner pattern there to Moss. Snap is taken, the pressure picked up, rolls left, almost a turnover. And if I can see it, you gotta know Monster can see it right there. You've seen that be a very successful play throughout the course of this tournament. What makes it so difficult is you'll see it in a combination of that motion in, but sometimes they'll place that receiver on a slant, so your read is, okay, is the corner is a slant, it's very difficult to read as a defense. Let's look for more corner outs here. Johnson out to the right Good in the play, low Joe. throw to Rice goes in for the touchdown. Beautiful play design there by Joke. He got the isolated receiver over the middle of the field. A deep in pattern right here. You can see he breaks up field, then he cuts left. No one else there, and you called it earlier. Jerry Rice, the GOAT, playing a huge role on that drive. But it all started with that sideline route that Joke was attacking. He really forced Monster to start protecting that sideline even more, which then helped open up some of those earlier middle reads we saw that led to the touchdown. Seven plays, 73 yards after the half. And Monster now lucky that he got that score before the half. And there you see him overthrow the high point. 
And that's where you can get into trouble if you're monster. You get those sailed passes. We've yet to see the tip pick style for him as well in this game. Hasn't needed it quite yet. The low pass is dropped by Moss. And here you can see he sits back in his chair. You could see the emotion on his face, understanding a couple missed opportunities. He peers into the crowd, most likely looking at little man chirping him. Can't pay attention to that, though. Far. Good heat. Goes underneath the bush. Can he outrun the defenders? No, he cannot. And instead, we are coming up to a fourth and five, and it's a 10-point game. Yes, this is critical. Well, what we'll see a lot of times here, is this where you get that quick pop pass to Moss over the middle of the field. You worry about him not hanging on to that pass in traffic. So now you'll see him actually check down to a gun bunch. Watch for Moss to motion inside. Looks like the heat will come in off the left. Got to be looking for it if you're Monsta. Far. Got Moss. Gets the route underneath, takes a big hit from Jalen Ramsey, but hangs on. Beautiful execution right there. Great timing on that play. That takes a lot of timing and skill in practice to get that play to work like that. We're in Matt's ultimate team here. This is salary Good cap beat. rank Jesus. mode. God, you're bad. Jesus, you're bad. Joe letting them know what he thinks of his opponent. And once again, there he Remember, claims these guys down. really like each other. Oh, they're best friends. <laughs> oh, no, the fumble is out, and Darius Jackson scoops it. And still only loses two. Yeah, and right now, Monsta is in trouble. I mean, he's getting screamed at off the edges, and he's got no answer to pick the pressure up. And Joke is clamping down on the short reads, and that is where you're seeing problems for Monsta's offense right now. Third and 12. Hi, Monsta, I'm bad. Two minutes in the third, pressure gets picked up, and the lurk is there. Lonnie, ball of time. Let's listen in here. Remember, no, nothing to see here. You think these uh, guys are going to go out and... That's a great user. Though. They're going to break light. bread with each other after this game? <laughs> they could. Maybe they'll have a crew dinner. <laughs> they might have a crew yeah. dinner. Yeah, everyone will sit on the same side of the table. Yeah. <laughs> Hang out, talk about the day. Donovan looking. Got, got an A wide open. Extend this lead. Instead, the corner is not hauled in. Yeah, he keeps attacking that sideline. I like that because that's going to keep forcing the issue Make Monster protect that. That's going to open things up in the middle and the deep middle as well. Monster said he would look to play more man-to-man -man coverage in this game than he has in other games during the year. Oh, got him. And that time it, it came in. If you're Monster, you really have to start worrying about these deep reads starting to open up here. You had a deep one-on-one -on -one with Deion Sanders. Didn't look like he was open there. Rice down there at the sideline, right about there. See if he waits, is able to pick it up and get back to that sideline. No field goal range yet. Third and ten. Monster just audible out of his defense. Backed him up. The play action for McNabb. Good user. Goes deep to Johnson in double coverage, and Paul Krause catches it, and he gets the touchback, more importantly. Just like that, tempo now changed. You can see here coverage. You get the rollout. McNabb tries to set his feet. He went for the home run play. All you can do there is rub your face, smack it a couple times. Oh, and he's got a run for Reggie Bush. Takes it to the outside. Will Harrison Smith grab him? Yes, 22 on 22. But not before Reggie Bush does some big time damage. Yeah, great blocking on that set. The seal edge right there. You can see the offensive lineman gets up on nitrate lane. And then it just becomes a foot race. Reggie Bush gets chased down. 60 yard run off that edge right now. And you're in field goal range. They get a one possession game here if you're Monsta. Can't afford a turnover if you're Monsta. You're in the red zone. You're ready to move it to one possession. Defense has been so far so good, but those turnovers are starting to mount up as Bush doesn't pick up more than one. The ball on the 23. Can't stress the importance of the field goal here. You can see in this one, Monster's already turned the ball over three times. That's been his bugaboo. Turnovers, and that's why Ooh. he loses games. Screaming in. No fumble. Fortunate. Just 10 of 18 for Monster. You used to see in a higher completion percentage. Well, he hasn't been able to run the gun tight offense. Joke has really taken him out of that. And I think that's where you're seeing him struggle a little bit more offensively. You can see here he's 10 of 18 through the air, buck 41 and one touchdown. Goes back to it one more time. 
goes to the short outside, third and nine, and Bush falls down after five. It's going to be a 35-yarder. Very smart play call right here. Take the points. It's yep. very tempting. It's very tempting to go for it there, but make it a one-possession game. What's so crucial about just getting it down to one score? Does it just put the pressure back on Joe or? Well, in these closing minutes, the objective of, of your opponent now uh, is to run as much clock as possible off. Uh, and if you don't get a stop, or, or if you do get one defensive stop, you now have that one possession back on the offensive side of the ball where you can see how Boogs won his game earlier in the day. He comes down at championship drive, wins the game. He has to keep it one possession at all times. Behind in the yards, ahead on the scoreboard, Joe hands off to Dorsett, and Joe's defensive adjustments against an offense like Monster makes me very interested. This is the last of our afternoon games, but in the evening games, you've got Little Man, an EMB guy, going up against Skimbo, another great offense. And we have to see how he's prepared, because these adjustments are what you win you Madden games, all the preparation. We're going to take it to the four here. Hold him up in the chat. The fourth quarter is coming up for Joke. Is he composed? Is he rattled? What do you see on his face? He's thirsty. He, he, he's been doing everything he needs to do in this one. He hasn't lost it. He, he, where we've seen him in the past, was, he really kind of loses his cool. He, he's lost his cool in big moments for his, his, his offense, for his defense. Not likewise, not no fumble and things like that. That's where we've seen him lose it. We have yet to see that type of adversity, though, in this game. Second and nine. McNabb with the play action, looking left. Good user. Throws it away. Joke went 3-0 and oh in group stage. And I went back and looked at the photos. I tried to find it. I saw his Goes game, 14-10. I saw his D. Jones, 28-3 win. And I saw his Kiff, 34-31 walk-off win. But the only highlights are of, the only photos he had was of him smacking himself. And he went 3-0. and oh. He plays with emotion. So you can see right there, though, he needs to start converting more passes through the air. Only six completions in this game. Little motion to the right. McNabb rolling, tries to playmaker. He's going to throw it. He's wide open, under pressure. Dorsett grabs it and gets out of bounds. That's a big play right now because it gets you closer to field goal range. You can see the playmaker off your back foot. McNabb throws a strike down that sideline, but that's going to give him another first down, which every time you get a new first down, it wastes about a minute off the play clock if you get three straight runs. So I'd like to see a couple runs here now from Joe, as you can see, he goes under center, run the ball. That mobility from Donovan McNabb paying big dividends. Yeah, and when you run the ball now, okay, now you're Joe. You're up one possession. Now your goal in this situation isn't necessarily to get a touchdown. Your goal is to run clock off uh, the game here and turn this into a two possession game. A field goal looks good here if you can waste another two minutes or so. Lots of mad action left, not just today, but in this one. Four minutes left here, four games left after this in our evening session. Headed up by Skimbo and Little Man. See, he's really using that play clock, winding all the way down, four seconds. He's got another 30 seconds to waste here, Brick get to about three minutes and 40 seconds. He then can, if he runs the ball and gets the clock going again, he can run the clock all the way down to just about three minutes to go in this one with a two possession lead. And how big is a first down look right now? The two clock is on, McNabb looks to the right to the corner route and Chad Johnson cannot secure the pass. I like the aggressive nature. He, he's going for the first down to run even more clock off. He knows he's already in field goal range now, making a two possession game. And this is where it becomes really difficult. And this is why these late game situations, clock management is one of the most important aspects of a competitive Madden player's game. I cannot stress that enough. The best players in the world manage end of half situations and end of game situations perfectly. And that's where touchdowns in the red zone are so important. If you're Monster, you made it a one score game, but all you really did was waste time and now you're back right where you started, ball down 10. Yes, now if you're Monster here, a, a quick score looks good, right? I mean, a touchdown obviously, yes, but again, your objective, make it a one score game. And he's going back to Reggie Bush in night train lane, save, maybe a touchdown. Yeah, you had the pulling guard kick. He didn't get to the next level on night train lane. If he gets there, that's a seal off the edge. He could have been gone. He's some quick play calling here right now, Monta. Valuable seconds he's wasting. I figure guys on the Niners offense would be good at kicking. <laughs> More shade, Farrells. It's tough out there. Three minutes to go, Far. 
trying to escape, goes to the flat, and Bush makes it a third and eight. Yeah, good pressure once again. That forced that early throw. And right now, you're seeing Joke really making Monster look uncomfortable. You're not seeing Monster go to the gun tight. That's his bread and butter. Was locked up early in this one. Had some fumbles, some sacks. Watch the pressure here. They're screaming. Joke screaming off the right edge. And Williams hangs so on. All right, there's a little bit of a chirp right there from Joe. It's your campus hero, Terrence Williams. 94 overall, he's playing big. You see him with that college number two. That's a tough read to live by as well, that, that post over the middle of the field there in the traffic. You're not gonna always hang on to that. Pressure, high point precision. Williams, one more. Two for two now. That is <laughs> nice. I, I still I stand by it. That's a tough read to consistently make, catching the ball in traffic. You're, you're really uh, you're playing with the tip drill at this point with uh, Joke's defense. He's got three timeouts. Minute warning, we'll see if he gets one more off here to Favre. He does. Pressure's picked up all the time in the world. Throws it and it. Dummy! Good shit! Good shit, buddy! Hey, Two falls, one for the plug and one for the low. Interception, look at that. Over the user, but Harrison Smith and there you go, listen, you, you, you go to it three times in a row, the deep post. Fool me once. And then, listen, that's what ends up happening, double coverage. Fool there. me I mean, twice. Shame on you, or shame on Fool me. Fool me three or, times, shame on somebody. I never fully understand that in the heat of the moment. Shame on you, shame on me twice. Shame on me once. Hey, you know what else happened twice? Put Patriots on the cover back to back. Yeah, is that excited a bad about that? I'm, I couldn't be more excited. Could not be more excited. Tommy Ball Games, the GOAT, greatest of all time. I'm not Four talking about set. And the timeout from Monster. He's only got one left. He's going to need an onside kick if he's to get the ball back. And Gibbs, if you're Monster, you're playing Madden Ultimate Team. The items progress over the season. What was Madden Classic Monster rated? Is he a, a silver, a, a gold? It, I mean, different game, different time, different players available. He became better as the year went on. And Joke secures it third and seven. Bye bye. And just absolutely chirping in the face in the shade. of Monsta. And remember, before the, the game, they, they, neither of these cage. guys want to talk about it. I bet after the game, they might want to talk about it. Yeah, you know, in, in, I know one guy. In, in joke, you know, all the class in the world at the beginning of the game, here will just get a little chirpy at them. But that's to really show the type of way they feel about each other. It goes deep. And Monsta. We'll go back to Tracy, California with the 29,000 in his pocket. 19 years old, matured as the season went along, was quiet at the Classic, both in gameplay and in volume. And then by the club series, he was out there having fun, throwing dots, and joke. Yeah, and, and when you start in the joke now, right, 3-0 and uh, in the group stage. Now he gets another victory here. He's now four, won his last four games in competitive play. He's going on a run right here. We, are, we already asked the question, is he quietly the best player here as he's got the highest win percentage, winning 90% of his games to qualify for the Madden Championship Series. And he certainly has not been quiet in this one in terms of how he's been chirping over at Monsta. But, you know, now he's just on one of those type of runs that we've seen people go on when they win a championship. It's one of those guys, if he's on your team, you love him. <laughs> yes. Like a Bill Romanowski it, or like a... Uh, he, he backs up the chirp though, right? I mean, good. you know, online, Let's chirping, see. he will come in here oh, in a game oh. and he will chirp in your face. And you see it right here, the way he feels about Monster in this one. And this is a victory that you know he wanted badly. Did he play his best game? I mean, this. do you think this could have been more out of hand? Defensively, he was amazing. Is that all uh, that, preparation? Is yes. that adjustments? That, I mean, that's all he, That's all preparation. He told me that he was ready for the gun tight pop pass play action offense. And he stepped up to the plate. That interception he had in that first half, I think really scared Monsta from sticking with this offense. And, and the amount of pressure he was dialing up, Monsta had no time to let any of these routes develop downfield. And then with Joke's aggressive user play underneath, it just took him completely off his game plan. It's one of those things that everyone thinks they're ready for. Jalen Ramsey is going to strut his stuff. Because remember, these guys are friends. Let's see how this one shapes up in the post game. Good game. 
G GG's hey. in the chat. A little simple. Not bad. I mean, that was, I thought there was going to be a little bit more going on there. But listen, that was that all class there from Joe at the beginning of the game. During the game, but during all the time in the quarters, yeah, he got a little chirpy. But at, at the end of the game, all class once again. So you got to tip your hat to Joke, who's on an unbelievable win streak right now. He's playing on the field, did lots of talking, and now he's prepared to move on to the next one, Gibbs. What was the biggest play in that game? Was it the user? It, it was the user interception. I think that was the tone setter. Uh, he was able to just absolutely f take... Months out of that offense completely. And, and that I cannot explain how difficult it is in Madden 17 to make that user play underneath the drag. Years ago, that was a much easier play to make. It's very difficult to do that in Madden 17. It was a phenomenal user play, one of the best user plays we've seen in the Madden Championship. $10,000 win for Joke. Let's go hear from him. He's with Drea. Thanks so much, Zach. Well, Joe, congratulations. What did you think about the way you were able to get it done and survive against the rival today? Well, I was playing the worst player out of the 16. He's terrible. Wow. Well, I thought you had to step up as far as just your congeniality by saying good game afterwards, but you just brought it back. Why throw salt? Well, I mean, he, he, he scored a touchdown on like six people and started going crazy. When he did that, I, I wasn't even going to shake his hand after he did that. Okay, so it took a lot for you to even rise up for that after he did what he did. Yeah, that was terrible. He caught the worst pass you could catch and just starts capping like a crazy maniac. What's wrong with that guy? Well, overall, you took the high road at the end, and that's what matters. Let's circle it around to Little Man. He's part of your crew. He was very vocal. I kind of lost my hearing on the side that my IFB is not in. What do you want to say about him and just how loyal he's been as far as cheering you on? Every down, he had something to say. Hey, Little Man, I love you, <laughs> and it's time for you to flood Skimble. There that's you go. <laughs> All right, well, that's our next matchup, and let's send it to Dave and Rico for more. Thank you. All right, thank you.